Last night there was a massacre at Salem's local gas and go. A total of three people lost their lives to an unknown murderer. I can promise you that it wasn't us. Aye, so this family you speak of, the Devereaux, will they be interested in buying from the Smirnoff Vodka line? They should be, and my brother Charles will fill you in on the details. Marcus, darling, what exactly is the White Oak again? Oh, Marcus, you best prepare. I hold no remorse for others, especially not for you. I am surprised to see you return so quickly. It's curiosity, Mrs. Devereaux. Please, I must know more. Curiosity killed the cat, you know. <laughs> uh, very well then, do come in. <laughs> Mrs. Devereaux, you said last night I was of opotropaic blood? In the whole doppelganger business? I, I met Elena. Please, Jacob, call me Clancy, and stay away from Elena. You must not get caught up in doppelganger business. It is dangerous for humans to get caught up in the supernatural. Why are you telling me this? Because you look like him. But the only person who has it is Clancy. Who is that? It's a long story, brother. Well, if one of your many past girlfriends is the only way to stop Catherine from invading our lives, then so be it. She isn't just any girlfriend. She wasn't even that. More like stalker. Great, so where is she? That's the problem, brother. Only mother knows. Well, that might be a problem, considering she is very, very dead. Tell me you know the whereabouts of the White Oak. My pack is hosting a trial for my begoolment. I have heard rumors, miss. I don't have time for rumors, Geoffroy. Please let me finish Serenity. The other sister has returned to Salem. Oh no, one of Marcus's irrational homicidal siblings has returned. What do I care? You're not letting me finish. Do not blame your incapability to get to the point on me. With her back in town, it puts the Smirnoffs on edge. I've heard Marcus is searching for it as well. Ugh, is this it? Go now. I don't want to see your deformed face until you have that stake in hand. Planning bloodshed, are we? Have you seen Stephen and Marcus? I have an idea of how we can get Catherine. Don't you see, sister? We don't want Catherine. Oh, don't be jealous, Jackie. You're being stupid and you know it. Why is it so hard to believe that our sister is redeemable? We could actually be a family, just like Mom always wanted. We could never be a family. Hatred runs too thick through her veins. There is no room for forgiveness after what happened. And what did happen, Jackie? Tell me, what accident, what tragedy could be so truly rupturing that it breaks through family? Death. I don't understand. Oh dear, you wouldn't. How do you know so much about Marcus, was it? Marcus Smirnoff. He was the man every young lady on Titanic dreamed of. Little did they know what he was up to. I, however, took the time to find out. And? He was organizing a deal with the Collins, Charles and Edward to be exact. They offered to sponsor the Smirnoff Vodka. They promised to ensure Marcus were to become rich and live a life of luxury. When he found that I knew he stuck me in here, or his hag of a mother did. <sighs> Sounds like a teenage reality show. What? 
Charles, you realize you're implying I robbed the richest man aboard Titanic. Of course. Besides, you are third-class filth. Nothing you can't handle. You go back to your party. Come to me when you have the diamond. Come on, Marcus. Wouldn't want to keep that doll of a sister you have waiting, would you? Ah, my two gentlemen have returned to me. May I have the steps, love? <laughs> <laughs> you. Hello, Marcus. You, you stay away from me. But Marcus, I love you. Back off, I have business elsewhere. Looking for this? <laughs> Marcus, I have to go. I told Gwen I would meet her at eight. If you must, but I will be participating in activities that will serve our agenda. You do that. See you later. Be home soon, brother. You've reached the voice mailbox of Mia P. Water. Please leave a callback number or press 1 for Coffee. more options. The one and only. <laughs> well, sort of. What do you want? No, little wolf, what do you want? You are planning to kill my brother. And? I thought you hated him. I thought you loved him. Why do you even care? I kill Marcus and you get revenge. Win-win. You see, Mia, it wouldn't be a win for me. Why? Because nobody kills Marcus but me. You wanted to talk? Yeah. What about? I mean, a restaurant isn't really a good place to discuss vampirism. Guess it's true. I'm not I thought we could discuss understand. things not so crazy. But I still need <laughs> like what? I'm just a man. I don't know. Shouldn't you be with your girlfriend right now? I didn't think I had one it's of those. It's getting dark. You should go. You're probably right. I expect to see you shortly, Mr. Hart. As do I, Mrs. Devereaux. Have a nice evening. You too. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Jacob, I thought you were in the hospital. Yeah, I was. I was for release this morning. Are you okay? Oh my goodness, you poor thing. Yeah, I'm fine now. I just can't believe some rabid animal killed three people and hurt you. I mean, you can't recall what happened? You actually believe it was an animal? You don't? Hello, me. I called you earlier. You had me worried. What are you, her father? Catherine, where is Mia? Hmm, guess. What have you done? You should be thankful. I did you a favor. What? Yeah, your little girlfriend wanted to kill you. No. Leave what you want, ta-ta. No, Mia, no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the story never gets old. Tell me about yourself. There isn't much to tell. Come on. Okay, um... Are you sure? I'm kinda busy. Okay, I will be there soon. I'm so sorry, I have to go. It's... um, fine. Let me walk you to the door. Good night, Gwen. Good night, Steven. Wait.